Good morning, everyone. Sports fans in the Philippines and all, all over the world. Welcome to another edition of the Philippine Sports Writers Association Sports Forum live here at the conference hall of the PSC building inside the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex in Manila. And this morning, we will be discussing probably the biggest aquatics events in recent years that the Philippines will be hosting two years, two weeks from now. Yan po sa Clark, New Clark City, Philippines in Pampanga. I'm Randy Kaluwag of Manila Standard. Good morning, partner. Good morning, partner. Good morning, Philippine Sports Writers Association. We welcome you to our weekly session. Hope that you are with us through our live streaming via the Facebook uh, uh, page of our PSA, that's Philippine Sports Writers Association. And on a delayed basis of the Radio Pilipinas DOS and Atin Panig Sports Radio, Judy Karingal po. Before anything else, partner, ito bago mong pakilala ang ating mga guest. In behalf of PSA President Nelson Beltran, the Philippine star all over there, uh, pasalamatan po muna natin ang ating mga sponsors, Philippine Sports Commission, Philippine Philippine Committee, uh, San Miguel Corporation, Arena Plus, Milo Philippines. Uh, may nakalimit ang baba ko. And then, completo regalos. And yes, we are hosting the biggest swimming event in the Philippines, February 26 to March 9 at the New Park City Aquatic Center in Kappa Starlak. And to talk more about this, we have the Philippine Aquatics Incorporated Secretary General, former uh, chairman of the Philippine Sports Commission, a champion swimmer uh, himself, now a uh, representative from the 1st District of Batangas, Congressman Eric Buhain here in our PSA forum. And then we're also having top officials of the local organizing committee of this Asian Age Group Swimming Championships, the President and CEO, Mr. Joseph Jojit Alcazar. Yes, magandang umaga po. And the Chief Operating Officer, no other than Mr. Dave Carter. Welcome to the PSA Forum. May we have the opening remarks of our guest. Yes, uh, Seth Chen Pong Eric. Good morning po. Thank you very much, Judith. Uh, sa saan po ng uh, uh, members po ng Philippine Sports Writers Association, of course, ating po ng Presidente, si Wayne Nelson, at uh, sa lahat po ng mga nanonood po ngayon sa kanigan nilang mga gadgets. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na maging guest po sa PSA Forum and of course to talk about this uh, upcoming uh, big, big uh, aquatics event po na gaganap din po sa New Clark City. Ngayon na umaga pa sa ilahan. Ngayon na umaga pa sa ilahan. Good morning po sa inyo lahat. Tsaka sa lahat na nanonood. Sa presidente po ng PSA. Maraming salamat po na pag-ulangan niyo kami. Uh, this is a very important event po. No? Sa, sa sports. Not just in swimming, but sports in the country. After we hosted uh, big events like the Southeast Asian Games po. Tsaka in FIBA World Cup, which is practically 70-80% is the same team running it. Uh, I think this is the next big event that uh, na we will look forward to na magiging proud ng Pilipinas sa pag-host. Maraming salamat po. Good morning everyone. Uh, Maraming salamat po for having us here. Uh, we would like to uh, uh, remind everybody that the proper name of our event is the Asian Age Group Championships. Of course, this is aquatics. Apat na events po ito, apat na disciplines po ito, swimming, diving, artistic swimming, and water polo. We hope you can watch the, uh, the event. Please come. Yeah. Okay. And of course, Smart Tail TV. Uh, yan, uh, Pong, welcome back po uh, sa Philippine Sports uh, uh, scene natin. First time ni ulit, makaharap ng marami ha, ang ating mga kasama sa sports. Diba? Since your uh, uh, post dati as chairman of Philippine Sports Commission. Now, swimming is back with a, with a big bang no? of, because of this uh, huge tournament. Can you tell us more about this Pong? Preparation, the hosting, mga countries na sasali. Um, actually, the um, uh, 11th uh, Asian Age Group uh, Championships is uh, ano na to, dapat last December pa. But uh, fortunately, uh, nagkaroon ng konti problema, so we had to uh, reschedule. 
uh, it's all of Asia and it's an Asian competition for disciplines that we let down nothing uh, sinabi ni uh, CEO and Dave, uh, swimming, yung diving, water polo, and uh, artistic swimming. At uh, over a thousand, uh, 1,300 participants. Uh, it will be held in the New Park City Aquatic Center. And uh, medyo first time na in the history na magkakaroon ng uh, ganitong uh, event sa Pilipinas. Uh, hanggang Southeast Asian Age Group na host na natin a couple of times, siguro mga three or four times na in the last 50 years. Pero this will be the first sa, sa level ng Asia. So napakalaking uh, opportunity talaga to for the country to, to showcase. Uh, happy ho ang Philippine Aquatics Inc. because nandiyan na ang uh, grupo dito sa ating uh, harapan ng uh, aming pong presidente at tawag sa akin si Pangulo Georgie at saka si CEO Otif dahil uh, uh, medyo kailangan natin ng mga veterano na, uh, na mga tao in this level of the competition. So uh, sabi nga parang atong FIBA uh, to, yeah, so medyo mabigat 31 national federations yeah, as of now. So we have to be able to host them properly from the time that they arrive. Uh, in fact, coordinating with their own countries prior to departure sa kanika nila bansa and returning them safely to their own countries is part of the uh, preparation. So happy po kami sa PAI, sa ngalan po namin uh, Presidente, si uh, Michael Vargas, nakasama po natin ang uh, local organizing committee to help us. And uh, of course, lumabas din yung, ano, yung uh, memorandum circular from uh, uh, Malacanang no? na hinihikayat po ang lahat ng mga ahensya na tumulo. So napakalaking bagay rin po yun para sa preparation state. Thank you, Bob. Balikan po namin kay Maya. Speaking of operations, no? uh, kumusta ang ating preparation sa lahat ng aspeto, no? security man yan, pati yung dutulo yan, lahat-lahat. Ha? Kumusta? Brother Andy, uh, right now, mamaya, actually, magkakaroon kami ng coordination meeting. Sabi nga ni Ma'am Sharita, we have to check the game's readiness. And so far, we are confident dun sa pwede nating ipakita uh, uh, sa ating mga bisita, sa ating mga mga na Kanina, we mentioned ni uh, Tom Eric na about 100, 1,300 participants. Okay? These are all the athletes. Okay? Maring meron pang dito dagdag ng mga uh, team officials, so lalaki ito, and the supporters. Okay? So, uh, marami tayong ma-attract. And, of course, Bob, if, uh, if, you, if you will allow me, uh, just recently, two days ago, it has been declared also na yung swimming ay uh, Olympic qualifying event for the Olympics. Kaya po, ito pong kanina, sinasabi ni uh, Kong Eric na uh, as of now, ang pong participants po natin ay nasa 1,300. Dahil po pwedeng lumubo pa ito. Dahil po ngayon, meron po mga nag, uh, nag-ahabol ng mga pasali dito sa ating event. Yeah, thank you po. Sir Dulagin. Sir Dulagin, Sir Level, ano pa ba yung mga uh, kinakailangan natin para maging successful ito ng ating napalang? Yes, sa uh, lahat naman ng tulong, no? Uh, Ingan mo ni Congress Magkanina, sa lahat ng tulong ng mga government agencies na na sumusuporta sa atin, no? Uh, naibigay naman yung mga tulong. Most especially yung pag-welcome ng guests natin. Importante yan, no? From the airport, uh, going to park, and in terms of, uh, sabi nga ni CEO Day, in terms of games readiness, no? Uh, alam natin ang pinaka-importante dyan, besides the competition itself, is the in logistics, no? yung transport, operations, and catering natin no? para sa ating mga bisita. And I think we are, you know, we are ready. We, we, we are ready to host the games. As, we've said, as, as uh, Dave said, uh, we will have a games readiness meeting later. So after that, uh, all set all set na tayo to, to be able to host the games. And I just want to also uh, specifically mention that we're hosting an event in a world-class venue in New Clark City. This is the only uh, swimming facility uh, that is uh, Olympic rated previously by FINA, which is now uh, 
world aquatics. No? Uh, so world class yung facility natin. So having a world class facility, uh, the team is dedicated to give them uh, world class hosting. Okay, thank you. Kong Eric, uh, what is the uh, significance of this uh, Asian uh, age group championships as far as our Philippine team is concerned, di ba? Uh, po kalaki ang participasyon ng ating uh, swimmers, divers, water polo team? Um, actually, uh, lahat naman ng discipline uh, meron tayo uh, except for artistic swimming. Medyo ito yung isang uh, discipline ng uh, aquatics na medyo kinakapapa namin uh, for lack of a better word dahil uh, uh, wala, wala rin ito sa amin marunong talaga magsayaw ng gano'n <laughs> so uh, but um, we're going to work at that we're going to work closely with the world aquatics uh, even the world aquatics, Asian aquatics is changing kahapon na may malaking uh, nangyari sa Doha na pagbabago with regards to the Asian aquatics so uh, I'm sure the Philippines will be part of the change on the positive side and uh, we're looking forward to that. Uh, the, it's an age group competition, uh, Mang Judith. So, ang laking bagay ito para makita ng ating mga kabataan na swimmers uh, in all the four disciplines uh, what is the level that we have to be in for future to be competitive internationally. Uh, and the announcement by World Aquatics that this will be a qualifying for the Paris Olympics. That also means that there will be world-class swimmers coming in, trying out, and uh, doing their best to make the cut uh, qualifying times for Paris. So, napakalaking uh, opportunity to, to host and see these swimmers. So, we're also encouraging the, the young, budding, uh, swimmers, uh, players to come here to, to watch the games in New Clark para makita nyo naman yung mga kung anong uh, tunay na lang yan. So, ito yung uh, pagkakataon talaga natin. Bihirang bihira na makita tayo ng mga ganitong kalibre mga atleta na sa larangan ng aquatics na dadating sa ating uh, bansang Pilipinas. So, pagkakataon na po para makita nila talaga. So, I hope that uh, our athletes uh, take advantage and the people also, those uh, sports lovers to, to come and watch uh, the events in New Clark. Uh, having said that this is a qualifying